there you uh, go. Buy, sell, hold number three. UNC is a team that can make another run in March. T.O., you first. They, wow. Their inability to put Armando Baycott in a position to get the basketball is alarming. And we can say whatever we want. We can say he doesn't work hard enough for the ball. We can say the guards don't per- they don't throw it in there enough. Both are true. Both are true. It, for Carolina to hit their ceiling, and there's a ceiling on this team because I, I think everybody's tired of talking about them. The, you got to find ways to get the young man the ball. Make it simple. Do a down screen post up. Make it simple. Get him something. Got to happen. I understand that Lively's a long dude and he had a heck of a game. But Armando Baycott's strong enough to where, like, he should be able to attack his chest and get to the free throw line. Next time they play in Chapel Hill, I bet Armando Baycott goes nuts. I'm just throwing that out there because he's going to attack his chest. He's going to get to the free throw line more. These guards, like, I understand the want and need to be aggressive as a guard. However, if you establish Baycott first and you're patient, all your shit's going to open up. Like, he has to be objective number one for that team. And he needs to work hard to get the ball, but also those guards have to settle their butts down and throw the ball in there, regardless look, look, of who they're playing. He's got to work hard to get the ball, but there's only so I, many times that you're going to work hard and yeah. be open and stand there and have the seal and watch somebody take a step back three as you're sitting here like this. And yeah, well, hey, look, he's Trevor a human Booker, being too. And, and look, Armando is also the kind like he he doesn't have that kind of like. Fuck you! Give me the ball. Like throw me the rock, person. He's a nice yeah. kid. Yeah, he's, he's a nice kid. But there's a couple of times where, like, I played with Trevor Booker. If he wasn't getting the ball in the post, he would just stand up and start cussing at you <laughs> because Trevor Booker. Trevor Booker wanted the ball. I threw Trevor the ball. <laughs> if you don't believe me, call Trevor. I threw Trevor the ball. He loved it when we were on the same wing because I was giving him the rock because I knew that my guy was going to dig. Like you could forget it, and vice versa. He, I hit a couple shots. They weren't going to dig. So it was like. He would just stand up or he would go stand in the lane and get a three-second call. It's a ballsy move, but that's the kind of – asshole's not the right word because I love Trevor. But that's the kind of competitor you need to be. Go in there and get a three-second call. <laughs> go in there and do it and say, hey, dude, I'm going to keep getting three-second calls until you start giving me the ball. Yeah. <laughs> that's not a bad decision. Armando, it's not, and, and here's the thing. It's not self-sabotage. This. It's not self-sabotage because those shots that Caleb Love's taking, they're turnovers anyway. <laughs> yeah. Uh, hey, look, and you know what? The, just beat him you know, to You could say, I'm just saving your shooting percentage, Caleb. NBA scouts are going to look at you much more kindly now that you are a more efficient player because instead of missing shots, I'm just getting three second calls. Give me the rock. Fancy. Exactly. Where do you exactly. stand on UNC long term? Can they make a run? Look, this is still a team. They still have arguably the most uh, talented, maybe the most dangerous backcourt in America. They still got a five man. It's an all American. Can they make a run? Sure they can because it's wide open. They they can make a run. But not to the final four. No. Not back to the final four. Pete Nance on Saturday. Yes. He goes one for ten. Yep. One for ten. Love and Davis attempt to combine 31 shots. And they make 10 of them. And then you're sitting there saying, and this is the reason why I'm, I'm – I'm, not, I'm down on Carolina. One player outside of the starters played more than five minutes in the game. It, it was Puff Johnson, who frankly is fine. In other words, they don't have any depth. Not when it matters. They really don't. They they they, they don't have depth. Uh, they Pete Nance has not filled in what Brady Manning did. They're no. two totally different players. They're totally different in their skill set and what they do. And... There's just not enough there. There's just not enough there. They they caught fire, but the two guards with Baycott, that those three players then had a guy that was drilling, drilling catch and shoot looks from the perimeter that then gave them really a, a fourth dimension, if you will, to their offense. Mm-hmm. They don't have that this year. They don't have that this year. It was unrealistic to expect that the guy that was playing at Northwestern was going to be able to come to North Carolina and perform at an elite level. And Nance has not been in that. He's been solid. Mm. He's been good. He's been good at times, but he's been bad at times too. And to me, Carolina caught lightning in a bottle last year. 
There's a reason for that phrase. They're not catching it twice. 